Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Vahim Mehta bringing you another video today on Lightroom Selections. Now, the reason I wanted to do a video on this is A, and I've talked about this before, that in order for you to get like a nice professional edit, sometimes instead of adding that effect or that exposure setting to your overall image, you want to do some local adjustments. So with selections, you can do like nice and clean adjustments. The second reason I wanted to do a video on this is that one of the key reasons that people pop their photos from Lightroom to Photoshop is for the selection tools. And because these tools didn't exist in Lightroom a couple of years ago, a lot of people who still use Lightroom don't know they exist. They just do the raw adjustments and move to Photoshop. And so I thought it'd be a cool video to inform people about that. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump right into it. Now I've already talked about auto masking in my previous video, link in the description below. But basically you click the adjustment brush you scroll down, make sure your auto mask is on, your overlay is on, and you can see Lightroom is using an AI to make sure the mask is not bleeding onto her skin. Now this works really well if you're selecting a symmetrical object or there is enough contrast between the two colors. But coming back to what we want to select is this plant, which has a lot more details and it's going to be really hard to select. What you need to do is place a graduated filter. So make sure your mask overlay is on and I'm going to draw this filter. And once you have this placed, you want to scroll down and you might want to update to the latest version as of July 5, 2020 and go to range masks. Now you have two options over here, color and luminance. I'm going to talk about color for now and you will get this option. So you need to pick up the eyedropper tool and select your subject. And just like in Photoshop, you want to press shift, you'll get this plus sign and you can make the expanded selection. And as you can see, I've done a fairly decent job in selecting the green plant. And now if I just go up and let's say if I want to play around with the selection and change the color of this tree to let's say purple I can just do this and of course I can refine this a lot more by using that same plus tool but this is just for illustration purposes and I wanted to give you an idea so this works perfectly for this now if you look at this portrait that I've taken you can tell that the lighting on her face is not very flattering there's a lot of dramatic highlights and shadows and it does not look really soft as well now one would say I could just reduce the highlights on the image and that would fix a lot of the issues. However, regardless of whether I do a global or using an adjustment brush, it will reduce the highlights but you will still see the dramatic inconsistencies of the shadows and highlights. And basically what you need, what you need to do is to change those settings in a relative manner using, you guessed it right, range mask. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to create a graduated filter. Once you have that, you need to scroll down and this time we will select luminance. And I'm going to explain these tools in a bit. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on her face. Now, as you can see, it has selected more of the midtones and the whites in the image. And we basically just want to restrict the selection to her face. So as you can see the range over here, if I bring it all the way down, it pertains only to the shadows. And if I go all the way up, it leaves it to the highlights. And you can play around, you can expand it. The smoothness does the same thing. It just makes the selection very non-feathered and intense. I'm gonna keep the smoothness a lot more on the intense side. And just to show you how this is going to affect and once I bring the highlight slider down, you can see that the image has gotten a bit flat on this side of her face. Now, obviously, I can play around with the intensity of this. If you just watch the highlights on her face, if I play around with the smoothness slider, you can see how intense or smooth the selection gets. And you can obviously pick 
point where it looks perfect to you but especially if you want to fix some inconsistencies in your image and give like a nice transitional change this tool is the way to go and that's about it there's a quick and short tutorial on Lightroom selections and how you can get like really nice clean edits so if you like this video please let me know in the comment section below subscribe to my channel and I shall see you guys next time take care